anybody that's ever removed a Volkswagen engine knows this drill. You, you're going to uh, unbolt everything on the uh, engine, get it, get it uh, in position, uh, lift up your Volkswagen up high enough where you can drop the engine down and pull it out from underneath. Uh, typically, uh, most of us use a floor jack to lower the engine down, and then we have to uh, scoot it out from under the vehicle and then lower the vehicle back down. What I want to do to make it a little bit easier is, uh, you know, after you lower lower back down, you've got to get it out of the way and typically put it on kind of some kind of a storage stand or uh, something to, to move it around. Um, I want to make a engine cradle that will fit over top of uh, my floor jack, something low, as low profile as possible that I could access inside that will have wheels on it. So once I lower it down, I could get my jack out and use it to lower the Volkswagen back down or whatever and roll it away and store it. And uh, what I have in mind should be inexpensive enough that I can make several of them because I uh, plan on building another motor. So, you know, I might have one or two of these uh, in use at any time. So let me show you what I have in mind. I'm going to use as a foundation for my engine cradle one of these uh, movers dollies. This one I bought at uh, I think Harbor Freight or one of those stores like that on sale for like around 10 bucks. Uh, I think normally they're only $15. Uh, it's rated for a thousand pounds so it's got four fully swiveling casters on it um, and uh, it'll fit you know over the wheels it'll clear but um, this one brace here, this one piece of wood, is going to be in the way. So I'm going to cut it away so it'll be like U-shaped. But we still need to tie uh, these wheels together so they don't spread apart or, or break in any way. Um, I've got some half-inch uh, plywood scrap that I'm going to uh, put on top of this area uh, just as a spacer. And then I've got some two by sixes. These were scrap lumber. Price of lumber these days, uh, gotta use scrap. And that will clear, put them across, that will clear the uh, floor jack when it's at its lowest position. Uh, and that'll let me scoot it over top. And the uh, lifting pad will bear on the wood underneath instead of on the bottom of the engine, as I usually do. Um, but uh, we're gonna attach this you know with the probably uh, like decking screws uh, you could through bolt it that would be even better you know just to keep it really rigid you don't want to uh, th these engines weigh uh, I don't know less than 250 pounds so it's not a lot of weight but uh, let's get building so I cut that that one piece out so now it'll let it roll in position to get to the center there and uh, we'll put our spacers on. I pre-drilled pre uh, for my deck screws here on the top piece. Okay, that, that leaves a little gap in the middle, but that won't hurt a thing. These are some three inch long deck screws that'll bite all the way through and sandwich everything together. The biggest amount of stress will be on the the piece where the cutout is because that'll uh, tend to let the legs spread there. So we want to put most of our fastening there. The, the other part is just a filler; doesn't really matter. And there you have it. It'll slide underneath or over top, and um, I think it'll hold. Yeah, that's just enough clearance. Could have probably uh, used three quarter inch plywood for the spacers on there. Uh, but like I said, you're going to measure your own jack and see what you need. Uh, 
I weigh more than a Volkswagen engine, I think. Um, I don't think that's going to go anywhere. All right, we'll try it out. Pull the motor. I took off the uh, fuel line from underneath and plugged off the end. And also, there are two nuts on the bottom of the bell housing or from the engine. A 17 millimeter wrench takes those nuts off and then we'll go on the top side. In the engine compartment, you disconnect your wiring harness that goes to the engine. That'll be your oil pressure sender, your coil wire, and uh, the wire that goes to your uh, voltage regulator. Uh, pull up, set that aside. I've already unscrewed it. Um, the back, the rear tin, um, pull that out, pull that out and uh, set that aside. That'll give us room when we unbolt it to slide the motor back a little bit. This is where our engine cradle and engine bottle will come into play. We're gonna lift that a little bit, put some tension on it so it follows the jack for now and uh, position it under the motor. Put some tension on it. Okay, that's supporting the motor. Now I'll go ahead and unbolt that. Okay, this is the last last bolt holding it on. Take some tension off of it. Okay, and it should come come back a little bit. Okay, we're, we're loose. Take the throttle cable tube out. There we go. Well, I'd say that engine lifting cradle is a success. It made it uh, easy to get it um, out from underneath. And it'll, it'll store on there. I'll probably build another one for the next motor I build. But uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll be doing other work on the Volkswagen here. Uh, so uh, if you're interested in that type of content, please subscribe. I also have a my main. Uh, project is my 1950 Ford F1 that I'm building, but check out, uh, check out my channel if you would. Uh, I appreciate comments and I will see you next time.